No! No, Dad! <laughs> no! Yeah! Oh my God! What? You have to look at in the inside, buddy. Look at this. It's crazy. Y'all. <laughs> it's crazy. I have a freaking new SUV. Like, what? I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. I don't know what to freaking think. Alright, so I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. So, my parents came over around 8. I think it was, or 7 p.m. And, like, around 7 p.m. So then um, they were like, my dad was like, yeah, I just wanted to give you your present early because like everybody at work, like I work for my dad. So like everybody at work is going to work later today or tomorrow. And I don't want you to like, like there's not going to be much time to give you your present or something like that. And I was like, okay. So I was like, okay. Like I even did this like, all right, I'm ready. And then he's like, Oh, well, it's in the truck. I have to go get it. Well, actually, I need Joe's help, which is my fiance's uh, name. But he's like, I need his help. So, yeah, we're going to go get it. And so I was like, okay. So um, he tells my sister to blindfold me. And, yeah. So then finally, like, my, my like we found a beanie. So I put my beanie on my head. And, like, I was like, okay. And I stand there. And then, and then my sister starts pushing me like, all right, we're going this way. And I was like, wait, what? I thought they were bringing it inside. And then at this point, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, my dad just bought me like a treadmill or like a, like a workout machine, you know? <clears throat> so I was like, okay, I guess it was that big. Because he did mention like, it's big. We, we need to carry it. Like me and Joe need to carry it or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, I guess we're going to it. So then she's walking me to the back, to the front. And then she's like, all right, like, take off your beanie. And then, like, I'm like, all right. So I do this, and I look forward, and, like, the lights were on on the, tr on, the on the SUV. So I was like, I saw it, and as soon as I saw it, that split second, I thought it was my dad's truck. So I was like, wait, what? And then I saw the big ass bowl the second after. Like it was just a split second. I saw the big ass bowl and I was like, oh, no. And I literally like broke down. Like I was trying so hard to hide it. Like I know in the video you can't really like you can't really tell. In the video it's it feels it's it looks like I'm just being very like oh my gosh, like just like chill about it. But inside, like, I literally, and I, I kind of did show it, I was just, like, I couldn't even breathe. I was, like, breathing, like, in and out, like, horrible. And I was just, like, <gasps> like, what the frick? I was so shocked. And my sister's just, like, yay, like, go, go inside of it. And I'm, like, oh, my gosh, like, I need to get myself together for a second. Like, <laughs> and so, finally, like, I got myself together and I checked it out and everything and i was still crying the whole entire time and i was trying so hard not to like keep crying but i just kept crying and then finally this morning um i woke up and i was just smiling the whole entire time i was so excited to drive it i've been smiling all morning this is i cannot stop smiling i'm just like so this morning i'm just like so happy and yeah it's crazy like it's super like high tech for me because uh if you know if you know what i used to drive it's like a high school car <laughs> it's like a high school kid car and it didn't have any special special features or anything it just like it didn't even have like um the um that drive thing 
uh, what is it called? It didn't have that, um, the thing where you put the freaking on drive and it drives by itself. But, like, I'm very grateful for that car too because, like, before that, I had nothing but, like, mechanic cars and by mechanic cars i meant like i was with the mechanic every single week every month and always spending money on fixing my cars and then also <clears throat> no ac like having no ac and the car my car this last car that i had like i actually got it um in 2013 so it was like brand new like it was it had like eight miles or something like that so <sighs> yeah i i appreciate i i really like i was blessed with that car I, and my uh mother-in-law actually um helped us get that car too so but yeah it's crazy oh i squeezed myself out <laughs> okay i thought this was gonna actually gonna work but this is not a good view so i'm gonna sit right here on the other side okay basically just add to this video and just kind of like add this for me just because i make these videos for me um so i can come back and like i i can see all my past so I can see all my all my experiences. I don't think any of my family watches my YouTube videos and I hope they don't because it's cringy. <laughs> but I just kind of make these videos for myself. So I want to add this because this is something that's very special to me. Um, my dad giving me this SUV. I, I probably sound like a broken record, but it's freaking like something big. It was a big surprise for me and um, I'm very thankful and I appreciate it a lot like I'm very grateful especially because I know what it takes to get something like this like this isn't just something that I'm gonna like that that I got handed and that I'm just gonna be like oh I got a new car my dad ha makes money like he makes a lot of money this is nothing to him like I'm taking this car and it's gonna be nothing you know what I mean like I'm not like that like I know what it took him or it's gonna take for him to pay this suv and um because i work with my dad and my fiance works with my dad and i see how hard they work and i see how hard my dad works so this suv is like it's like part of their life if that makes sense it's literally hours of their life given to me by the way, what I meant about, like, time of, like, their life, like, they're giving me part of their life. I don't mean, like, part of their life, like, the freaking SUV is part of their life. I mean, like, literally, when you work, you're giving that job your time. That's what I mean. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's a little too deep. It sounds really ugly if you put it that way, but it is, and... Some people might just like I get this on Instagram sometimes like if I like if somebody gives me like like if my parents give me a Gucci purse or if I buy myself something expensive or I'm always doing my nails or something like they're just like oh must be nice or like comments like that and it's like dude you know that it takes for somebody to work hard for them to get where they are like it doesn't it's not like we're drug dealers and we're just like splurging you know what i mean like we work hard for this i literally have to jump in here it's kind of high up i need one of those like sidestep things that trucks have that would be kind of ridiculous on this actually because it's not like it's an actual truck uh I from the dead last night
Recording. <laughs>